war screenwriters and fiction authors. You're playing with some dark stuff in May of 2024, and I think this is going to be more of a warning for you. The thing that kind of came up most for me with this was I've been hearing a lot about how creators, YouTube creators, sometimes they start out uh, their YouTube channels small because they want to create videos. They want to just be a creator. And the more higher that they get, the less fun it becomes because they're also now doing all these brand deals and not doing what they started out doing. And I'm hearing a lot of the bigger YouTube creators have decided to leave the bigger brand deals to go back to what they originally started doing YouTube for. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. There's a king of wands here. That's it's good. You took a chance. Keep it up. But it seems like you've gotten a little arrogant. There could be something a little you're you're looking at some infant you're thinking you're better than other people. Before I go on, the next two cards that you did get is the judgment and the world card. So it does kind of feel like you are on to the next stage of whatever it is that you're doing. But I think you need to change your intuition about it. And what I mean by that is these next cards. So you got the high priestess, but she's reversed. And the high priestess, she likes to give people her secrets, but only if they're worthy of them. And it seems like you're closing her off. Just something to keep in mind there. And that's what that was. That's the card right smack dab in the middle. Uh, in, in addition to that, you also got the Ace of Wands, which is kind of, which is reversed. It means a no. Uh, you're going to, there's not a new journey coming. Uh, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, which is not reversed, which means you're pretty happy with where you're at. I'm just wondering if you're feeling a bit too above everybody else because of how far you've come. Because of that, it kind of feels like you're not putting your own, you're not spreading the love. Whichever deck I use, it's the one card that is the hardest card for me to read, and I don't know why lately. It's the Page of Pentacles. Now, pages are like the production assistants of the tarot. And they are the listeners, the learners. They pass messages back and forth. And this one is learning how to control his element. Now, we, he is a, upright. He is good. So pentacles are the earth element. Earth uh, is our body, our health, and our money. I don't think that's your next cycle, partly because this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck. It's the ace of pentacles reversed. So remember what I said about the Ace of Wands reversed. Uh, Ace is an idea, and it is just the idea percolating. But when an Ace comes up reversed, it usually means a no. So if you have two Aces reversed, a Pentacle and a Wand, you're probably going to be looking at a Sword for your new cycle with the um, World and Judgment kind of being there, um, or a Cup. Uh, which is emotions. And it could go either way, um, especially with this Knight of Cups that's he's pouring his his water out, not caring. Just kind of feels like you might want to pay attention to what your next step is. And I really want to stress that you understand why you're doing or why you're writing what you are writing. The numbers you want to pay attention to are 4, 6, 21, 20, 2, one, nine, two, one, and one. Now, if you add all those up, you get 67. And six plus seven equals 13. 13 in the major arcana is the death card. Now, this does not actually mean a physical death. What it means is something needs to die in order for something to grow. So something in your this journey that you're doing right now, needs you need to let something go in order for your new cycle to start because you're blocking off a lot of stuff here and it just kind of seems like you need to really get more in tune with this high priestess you need to talk to her and you need to get her to tell you the secrets get her to trust you again it just kind of feels like there's a lack of something going on here and i don't think that she thinks that you're worthy of those secrets of whatever war you're trying to write about. Elementally, you've got earth, air, fire, and water. And like I mentioned, um, you have a lot of earth and a lot of fire. There is no air. 
you are not breathing whatsoever. There seems to be no, take a minute to breathe. It just kind of feels like you're holding your breath a little bit, or you're either holding your breath or not breathing at all. And you're just kind of feeling like there's no air around you. I, I Now that I've said that out loud, I actually kind of wonder if there's a little bit of a little bit of lucky, like Britney Spears, that song where she's around so many people, but yet she feels so alone. Kind of that feeling with air. Now, I did also look at your major arcana cards. You got the world, you got the high priestess, and you got judgment. And you've got an earth, a water, and a fire. So again, you're missing air. So I really think air is probably your most important element to pay attention to. And with that being said... Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are the astrological signs you probably need to look at. I'm not an astrologer. It's not my strongest suit. I'm still sort of working on learning how to even absorb that information. There's a lot of information in astrology, and for some reason, it just hasn't stuck with me. So I want you to go and look at Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, the colors you might want to pay attention to are blue and green. More specifically, I got this color blue. It was the like a like a royal blue is the one that kind of came up to me. And green, it was like these this dark green and like this green. Uh, I know that those are like two different color greens, but very naturey. Just very maybe it's like a vine, a vine green. The word that came to my mind when I thought green was grass. So take a look at grass. Uh, I do pull three extra cards. We have moment of reflection, and it's reversed. So this might be something you need to look at. It could be for your project. It could be for yourself regarding since we're looking at the six of wands that's reversed. So you might want to look at look at your reflection and see how you've been acting toward people, acting toward agent, manager, readers, beta readers, um, all that kind of stuff, and just kind of see if you're helping the world grow or if you're helping other writers grow or if you're being a helper to society and also what is this project going to do once you finish this project what is it going to do and how is it going to uplift people to want to continue to write and continue to read the project or your projects in the future i also got hat it only says hat it doesn't say baseball hat but you can go either way with it and i also pull a writing prompt how do those who cannot use magic treat those who can use magic? Wow, that's all like fitting right now. Um, I just, that's something, all of something you should think about. So in closing, I want to let you know that I am starting a writing community. It's called Flow Your Mojo, and it's where I'm bringing writers together to learn how to use tarot to connect more with their intuition and their creativity so that they're working on their create. I'm sorry. So they're working with their creativity and not on their creativity. The idea behind Flow Your Mojo is to help you get more in flow with your creativity in between all of life's uh, problems, life's responsibilities, and all that stuff, and just feel more in flow with anything that you're trying to create. Within that, we're having write-ins. It's going to be a healing space. I want to give out um, marketing shout-outs so that you can get uh, more followers yourself so that you can make more sales. Because this is a healing space, it's going to be a little bit more intimate. I don't plan on having thousands and thousands of people in this group. I, I don't think that that would be beneficial for what I'm trying to do here. Um, it's just basically for writers who want to use tarot and work more with their intuition and write stories that will change the world and get to know yourself all at the same, same time. Currently right now, the price is 50% off and the first 25 people who sign up, it's for life. Once those 25 spaces are there are gone, they're gone and the price is going to go up. So I just want to put that out there. So take a look at the link in my bio. Take a look at the link in the description. With that, I invite you to like, follow, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Please comment on this um, video and let me know if any of this resonated. It just seems a little dark, and I want to make sure that you're just aware of the darkness so that you can bring yourself more to the light. See you in the next one.